This is the story of Rag, a world of peace and tranquility. A world so perfect that the sun never rose until it was absolutely sure. Their vast library was filled with books documenting the revelations of generations. For they discovered simply for the sake of discovery. So everybody was happy, from the Ragin senator himself to the little birds who flew around his building. Another discovery. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> and the senator of Rag was never happier than when he was discovering new forms of happiness. discoveries were made. Some were large and some were tiny. And some... Yeah. And some discoveries had to be seen to be believed. Just that I'm oh, the bird of and you're about to make a discovery. Oh, this couldn't be better. Young students, science trip. Can they watch? Yes? No? Um, yes? Uh, yes? Um, yes? Yes? Um, yes? In, 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 in. Uh. Mustache, back soon. Try not to get too technical. As you can see... He went on to tell them how for the past 30 years he'd been placing information-sucking electrodes around Rag. Some embedded in the planet's crust, others ready to suck information from the vast Ragian library, and even more pointing out towards infinity, with all the leads converging in his room. And why? Because when I flick this switch, we will see on my screen the answer to the biggest question of all. Where exactly are we anyway? Flick the switch.
Ladies and gentlemen, meet Edwin Barnes. to assume that we're inside his head. That we're a dream. What? We're just a dream. We don't really exist at all. <gasps> this could make me famous. About to go off. What? His alarm clock's about to go uh, uh, uh. off. Write a note to the senator. Now, is that a discovery or is it a problem? Thank you. Another discovery. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Shall I open it now? No, no, I'll wait. No, no, I can't wait. I'll open it now. <laughs> <clears throat> The whole population panicked. The first meeting for 8,000 years was called by the Ragian Senate. <laughs> Yeah. Why fight the march of time and the doom that will soon embrace us all? There's no way out. Ever. 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 Gentlemen! I have got the answer! <laughs> Excuse the contraption, but I'm afraid I can't walk yet. <laughs> we must ransack the knowledge contained in the great library and use it to construct my means of salvation. Salvation? A gateway, gentlemen. A gateway? We will construct a gateway that will lead us through from dream into reality. Reality? But we'll be too late. Don't you see? The five minutes on his alarm clock leaves us with little more than two weeks of Ragian time. rallied to in the construction of the gateway.
was finished. And so, four specially soundproof rugs prepared to make the journey into reality. Edwin Barnes began the journey into his own dream. Back in Rag, everyone waited for Edwin. And waited. And waited. <sighs> and waited.
one dared to make the slightest sound as Edwin was carried through rock. Something happened that no Ragian could have foreseen. Edwin slowly began to dream of pink. Flamingos! 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 Senator of Rag thought that this was the best discovery of all.